here is the arrangement of Sting's very famous piece, Fields of Gold. I've decided to arrange it for guitar, for easy guitar. I've noticed that there is a lack of easy guitar pieces for the beginning finger style or classical guitarist. So I wanted to start making some for you all. So if you like it, please hit a like below and let me know in the comments if you'd like more. Also, you can purchase this one on Sheet Music for Plus and I will leave a link in the description. So thank you all. Now let's get to some close-ups and I will walk you through how to play it. All right, so here we go. Take your third finger and um, put it on the G, which is in your, in your third fret. Okay, now you wanna go ahead and prepare your right hand by putting your thumb on the sixth string. That way, when you go to play that note, your thumb's already there and you don't have to go searching for it. Okay, so just M, I, and then play those two open. So that's like a pinch with your thumb and your middle finger. So you have M, M, I, and then let your ind index finger play the D on the second string. So now what I did is that my thumb played the B on the fifth string, and my, in my first finger played that here. So now I have my third finger on the D and my first finger on the B. So now all together. Now my thumb's gonna play the E string again. So if you see what your thumb is doing here, it's starting So it's going one, two, three, four. Okay, that's what your thumb's gonna be doing in the first measure while your fingers are playing the melody. So we'll try that again, just the first measure. Now we're starting again. Now this time your fourth finger is going to play the G and your second finger is going to play the F sharp right there. That's so that we don't cut off the melody notes and that it will sound more flowing when you play it. Now my third finger is playing the C, while my fourth finger plays the D. Now here I have my thumb playing the fourth string and my index playing, finger playing the third string. Okay, so now that's, we have the first two measures so far. Let's take it again from the beginning. Okay, what I did there in the third measure was from the C, have my second finger on the fourth string and I'm pinching that with my thumb and my better to do your index finger than your middle finger because you're gonna need your middle finger for the next note so we start with a C and then thumb and index middle finger thumb on the C index on G let go here because you have two open strings. The G, let me kill that light a bit. So you have, and then the second finger is going to play that G, while the third finger plays the D. Okay, now we have our first whole phrase. Actually, you should keep the third finger down while you let go of the fingers because the third finger is a uh, half note. So you want to let that C ring out while you play the G and the B. So that, that measure again would be. Now hold that. And now bring your second finger to play the G 
that's a lot better than bringing this one up because that way you're not going to cut off that half note C. And then you can bring your second finger, third finger down to play the D. And then you have an open D, G again. And now we're going to play fourth finger on the G and then the first finger on the F sharp, which is in the second fret first string because we want to keep holding this G. Okay, now we have open. Pretty much what we've done for before. Now we have the little ending here. We're starting on the C and then we're going to pinch. Or um, I think you should go M with here on the second string and then index and then M. So we have. Now you can play an F sharp with your second finger and your third finger is going to pull off. Okay, if you don't know how to pull off, your third finger grabs the string and you just, you're actually plucking the string with your third finger and you're pulling in a downward motion. Okay, so we have. finger and take your second finger and just bring it here. Don't slide because you don't want squeaky, but just go. Uh, and just place it there. And now you're going to pinch thumb in the third string. Now you're going to start all over again. And you're going to take that all the way down through again, uh, playing the same thing until you get to the ending. So the ending would be in measure 16. I'm just telling you what measure it is if you have the score. Okay, so that second ending is going to bring us into the, the bridge. twice. Thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb. Now this part to come, I never take, I never take promises lightly. Okay, all that is is thumb, thumb on, your left hand's playing a C and an E here, and then you have a D with your pinky, okay? to go to a G and the melody is playing an E and then you have a pinch on the D and the B and then you repeat that thumb. try to alternate your I and M here playing the melody so again thumb thumb index index uh, middle Sorry, let me say that again. Thumb, thumb, index, middle, index, middle. Index, middle, and then index with a thumb. And now we get into, and I swear in the days to live, we will walk in fields of gold. Okay, so this part is, we're starting on a C, and then our index player, a finger is going to play the G string open. a pinch with the thumb and the ring finger. So this is the first time that the ring finger is coming into play here. So thumb, index, pinch, thumb and ring finger. And now bring your second finger to the F sharp. So now we have. What I did was I played the F sharp back to the G open, and then an E open, and then a G open. Okay, so thumb, open, pinch, second finger, open, and then bring your third finger onto the G and your fourth finger onto the B, uh, D, sorry. So you pinch, index plays the open G, middle plays the D, and then open, and then an open E. Second finger.
finger plays the A, and then we have an open. So we have the index in the middle with the right hand playing that, and then we have a C pinch, and then, sorry, then you're just playing B, B while you're holding the C here still. just like we did before. So we have and now play a G chord. That's your first finger on the B, your third finger on the D, and your pinky on the G. And then with your thumb, with the flesh of your thumb, so it's a soft sound, just strum down on all six strings. And that's all there is to it.